Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm riding the Piedmont Trail System. The trails here are just too good to stay away from for too long. If I could, I'd probably summer in Duluth just so I could be closer to these trails. Rock does make an outstanding trail surface to ride bikes on, and Duluth has just plenty of it. Red Dress is probably the easiest of the Black Diamond trails in Piedmont. I have broken a brake lever on this trail, but overall it's pretty tame considering. Not today. This looks new. I don't recall this one. I guess I red dress is more hard XC than a lot of the other stuff here. But there's like little opportunities to jump, I guess. Oh. There we go. Not bad. There are a lot of good features here to help you get comfortable with riding over rocks. All of these can be rolled, so this is a good trail to get comfortable with this type of feature. It doesn't look that bad. You look up what you just rode. Yeah. Can't climb. I think the line is way over here though. Looks like it should be more like right, but it's not. Tried to buck me. That wasn't very friendly. Yeah, I think we're back on the main part. All right. Oh, I'll leave. It's kind of crazy how fast the leaves started changing colors. Not before long, there will be leaves covering these trails. Thank you. 
nice little roll. Fox Rocks is an interesting little trail. It's a blue trail, but it leads to some much harder trails. Today is not the day for me to ride those trails. But I did find a little something tucked away behind the Three Sisters. This is a cool little spot I found. This little section has some fun rolls. I'm not sure what this trail is called, but it was a nice surprise. Yeah. The chicken line. Back on the NIMBY cluster, and I still can't jump. Oh, almost. Ah. Ah. I don't know. Don't know. All right, dropping. This time I'm taking Metropolis. It has been a while since I've ridden this one. They made some nice changes to this trail. Son, having the speed for it is another thing. Yeah, it's been a few years. So, yes. Not even that. It just needs to be set. I think we just need some speed for this. It's pretty small. That's cool. That's cool. Oh. Yeah. That is different. I kind of remember doing that once. I know this is just a green trail, but it's a lot of fun. These green trails flow really well, and they like to place kickers all over the place, so you can have a little fun rip even if it's just the green. I typically don't head east on Upper Burner, 
but I wanted to check out this section. Typically, I climb here, but I've been wanting to give this spot another look. Right. Can you send that or you, can you roll that? Let's see if I can roll it just up, roll up to it. Yeah, that's good stuff. Glad I did that. Yeah, I'm glad I decided to ride upper burner back to the parking lot. That initial climb is a bit much, but there are some fun flowy sections heading east. The downhill section was really cool, and I'm glad to check another feature off of Duluth. back on Scarface and heading towards the car. I really do love all that the trail builders have done with Piedmont and wish I could get up here more. The trails here are a lot of fun and provide the right kind of challenge. I'm of the opinion that as a rider you can only get better by riding harder trails. If you never ride outside of your comfort zone you will eventually hit a ceiling and regress. As I get older, I question how far I want to push my skills. Ooh. And am I being too conservative because I have fear? But I do remind myself to live before you die. Well, thanks for watching. Get outside and get a ride in before it snows.